Hey guys, welcome back to my bedroom because the last time I did a sit down video I was also sat in bed. Today we are doing a little mukbang. I've got my lovely acai bowl. It is acai with goji berries, almond butter, chia seeds and cacao nibs. But oh my god, I've literally been rushing so if my brain is just not braining, that's why. It's literally been the busiest day ever, you know, when like you've just got so many things to do. But it's been a very productive day. Not everything is done yet, but it's not the end of the day yet. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do a little mukbang and I've asked on my Instagram and TikTok and stuff for some questions and there's loads. Haven't even looked yet. But yeah, I'm just going to add some of my protein powder to my acai bowl because obviously there's no protein powder in this. Um, so this is the chocolate flavour of the free salt protein. So it's really risky doing this on my bed. I bet my mum's watching this like Millie careful we've got white sheets on your bed but yeah how is everyone how are you all doing i would love to know in the comments what you've been up to this week have you been having any tough times you know have you got exams like how is everything going for you all um and yeah i just kind of wanted to catch up with you guys i feel like a lot of my vlogs and stuff at the moment have just kind of been all over the place really random and i want to get into more of a routine but i have been posting twice a week that is a big thing twice a week do you know how much editing it takes to post twice i think i'm going to struggle with this mukbang because whenever i watch mukbangs unless i've got an insane amount of food i always think like how how are you like eating that so slowly i'm such a fast eater but we've got a whole video to film so i'm gonna have to dial it back this is like the most likely food to eat where i'm gonna have food in my teeth but we're all friends here right so it's okay. Assuming most of you have come from my other socials, but I'm assuming a lot of these questions will be skin based, like acne, hormone health, clearing your skin, health, that kind of thing. But I will, I'll answer a mixture of them because I've seen some that aren't like that. If you could go back and change one thing about your life, what would it be? I don't know. Questions like this have me sitting for hours thinking, like what would I do if I could change one thing I mean probably get out of my relationship sooner if I'm being completely honest I mean I'm not someone to wish things were different in the past because so many little decisions lead up to the life that you all have now so like if I was to change the timeline of stuff it might mean that i'm in a completely different place but i think just for like my mental health and like the amount that i've grown since then i you know it would have been a lot healthier for me to get out of that relationship earlier but i don't necessarily regret it that was a very heavy question to start with <laughs> how's uni i did answer that question in my last q a but uni's going okay Got a lot of assignments due this week i'm gonna be submitting some tonight if i have any time but yeah it's going all right what is my most irrational fear probably i'm really i'm not scared of the ocean like i love the ocean like the idea like right now like even just me thinking about that i know i'm gonna to go to bed watching david attenborough's new um planet planet our planet you know the new bbc documentary i love the ocean i love animals like i love all stuff like that and i think that's a lot of that's something that a lot of you guys don't know about me like i am obsessed and have been obsessed like my whole life and will always be obsessed with wildlife with nature with traveling it is what is what i'm meant to do however that being said the fear the fear when i'm in the ocean and something touched my feet like i don't know if everyone has this fear but like i'm just so scared of stepping on those fish that looks like that look like rocks and if you step on them you just die you just die that is like one of my most irrational fears because like it is so unlikely that i'm even going to be in a place that has those let alone them actually being one shallow enough for me to step on it considering i'm not very good at swimming but that was a very specific irrational fear someone said what job would you like to do later so obviously at the moment i'm doing social media and i'm studying nutrition at uni 
So with um, with studying nutrition at uni, obviously I'm going to get a nutritionist degree and you can just work as a nutritionist. Some people work in practices or in hospitals or in clinics or some have their own businesses and take on clients and that's I think what I want to do. Um, I want to kind of, if like my social media stuff is still going, I want to basically continue with what I'm doing and then also take clients. Um, a bit like Claire the nutritionist, big slay to Claire. If all of that went to pot, I'd love to work in marketing, PR, I don't know, something to travel. Um, what's the biggest change that you have noticed since becoming an influencer? <laughs> I find it so funny when people call me an influencer. Um, biggest change I've noticed since becoming an influencer? Definitely the biggest change in myself is my self-esteem. Because when you're just going from like a regular teenager who just like works at the grocery store and sees your mates a couple times a week when you go from just like that and only having like people you know around you to all of a sudden having all of these opinions given to you by all of these strangers from all over the world from all these different cultures it's hard to feel like you can relate to people around you and like that makes you feel isolated um the biggest change was definitely in myself someone said how many times a week did you do sports um once probably max <laughs> when i was at home i was going to the gym all the time but i just haven't found one in london yet and gyms here are so expensive i just i don't know i just can't fathom spending that much on a gym membership i'm back i'm back with brushed teeth because my mouth was quite literally black from that side bowl. She's not completely finished, but I'm full now, so maybe I'll have it later. Let me just look for some more questiones. Um, I'm actually kind of cold, and also like my little, this isn't even done up properly. It's putting on a hoodie season. Oh God, hoodies, like zip up hoodies are actually like my favorite thing ever. I don't know why. They just remind me of like when I was younger. How much time do you spend studying in a week? Way to make me stress. Not enough. Not enough. Probably like doing uni work outside of lectures. I probably do like five hours a week. But that's because I've got assignments. Like I should be doing like probably like 30. But it's all I can do at the moment. Someone said... Um, where is it? How is it going to uni in London, thinking of applying to London unis next year? I can't imagine being anywhere else. Like, I I can't imagine being anywhere else. Like, everyone that I have talked to about the fact that I've come to London, I've said that too. Like, I would not be happy and feel comfortable and feel at home anywhere else i think a big part of that stems from the fact that with like my social media stuff like all of the events are obviously in london like it's the capital city like to be fair so far the club scene hasn't been great but i don't know if it's just that i've not been going to the right places but it's just been quite like there's just not been that many people. Like I went to Ministry of Sound um, and that was on like a Friday or a Saturday night. That was great. That was packed. But that was in Freshers Week. So like obviously it's going to be packed. Um, but yeah, like I'm not that much of a clubby girl anyway. So it's not really a make or break for me. Um, someone asked how you manage your stress levels. Someone asked how you manage your stress level. So it's obviously different for everyone and it kind of depends what's causing your stress. Like grounding is amazing for balancing your nervous system. I also have magnesium every single night before I go to bed. Um, I might be doing like a partnership with this amazing magnesium I've been taking lately. Like you literally put hot water in and it tastes like hot chocolate. Like at first I didn't know that people were putting hot water in. I had cold water in it and I was like, oh my God, mum, like if this was hot, like this would literally be hot chocolate. 
and then I went on their Instagram and people do do it hot and it's literally I sit in bed with a hot chocolate every night and it's magnesium and it helps me sleep and that obviously helps with stress levels but magnesium also regulates your nervous system and calms you also turning your shower cold at the end of your shower um, regulates anxiety and stress all because there's like a vagus nerve which is like the biggest nerve in your body and as soon as it's stimulated that reduces anxiety so yeah those are my like three tips for you um have you ever seen an esthetician how did you get rid of your post red acne scars um i've never seen an esthetician ever although on wednesday i am going to see dr sam bunting in her clinic at harley street which i'm very excited about um but no with my scarring i used vitamin c i used tretinoin obviously not at the same time <laughs> that would be a recipe for a disaster never mix a retinol and a vitamin c ever 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 um i mean obviously like it does take a lot of patience it kind of annoyed me lately <laughs> because whenever i show like my skin now compared to what it used to be like everyone always comments like oh you're so lucky you didn't get pitted scars you're so lucky for this but it's like i can go back and show videos of like there being like indents all over my skin and ice pick scars and it must have just been my skincare that just evened a lot of them out um because I definitely do have ridges and bumps still and the ice pick start scars are stuff are definitely there um but not at all like they were um once I cleared my skin and had the scars left which I find kind of strange because I feel like a lot of people struggle with scarring for a really really long time so maybe maybe I did get lucky or maybe my collagen production was just really good from my diet I don't I don't actually know um but yeah I do take collagen every day um but no I've never seen an esthetician I've never had any laser treatments done I've literally never had a facial before I've never had um, I've never had the chemical peels. I would be interested in having a chemical peel and I was kind of considering getting one as soon as I get home or like maybe getting a chemical peel whilst I'm in London and then I don't know but I don't know if you're allowed to go in the sun because I was just thinking like then I could have like a fresh chemical peel for when I go to Australia but I, are you like for six weeks after are you not allowed to be in the sun like I don't know maybe I should do some research on that um but I would love to get a chemical peel and kind of I'd love to get a chemical peel and kind of document my experience on TikTok and like for you guys and stuff see if it causes me to break out or whatever mm. Izzy Parker and I know she probably won't mind me saying this because she is such a supportive queen she always comments on like literally everything like the most cute and like helpful questions and the questions like I really want to answer so shout out to you girlfriend um she said what is your fave sweet treat so i love my date bark if you go into like any of my recipes playlists on my tiktok it will definitely be there or i call it like hormone healthy rocky road that's insane like it's absolutely insane so that's definitely one of my favorites but on a daily basis i have my stewed cinnamon apples and i have coconut yogurt but i put like protein like this one in to that yogurt to make it like protein you know to make it actually like balanced and then I add some almond butter to give me like healthy fats you know protein and that is like one of my favorite sweet treats I also if anyone ever wants to buy um anything from free soul because it's literally the only products that I talk about um you know I've never done an ad with them ever ever so if you're sat here watching this just know i love these like i do have an affiliate code with them meaning that like when people use my discount code i get a small commission but they only gave me that affiliate code because i posted them and tagged them so many times and then they then they were like oh do you want one so it is quite frustrating when people are like oh but you've got a code with them it's like yeah duh because i love them anyway i I transgress I digress <sighs> how to take care of your hair I am not one to comment on this because I washed my hair on I washed it on Tuesday that's not even that long ago it's Friday but it's greasy as hell because I didn't double shampoo it because I was in such a rush like 
I literally was washing my hair at six o'clock and I needed to be at my friend's house ready to go out for Halloween at seven. So yeah, um, but I, at the moment, I'm loving using this scalp scrub from Revolution to really clean my scalp. Like my scalp right now is really itchy. Like I get a real buildup of oil in my hair. That's one thing I miss from Accutane. It didn't clear my skin, but it helped my hair be like not so greasy. Um... How to be confident whilst having acne. There's a lot of these kind of ones. Um, how to not be ashamed of my skin. How do you go out to public and deal with insecurities and people's opinions whilst having acne. Um, I said this in my last video, but like affirmations in the mirror, like please, even if like you don't think they work for you, just try like try for at least like three months every single day just say one nice thing to yourself in the mirror or one day just get some sticky notes and write nice things on them and stick them on your mirror and you can just keep them there forever like I literally beg please do that because it's so beneficial for your mental health to see those positive messages like the same way that the teachers at school tell you to like I don't know put a French word and the English translation on a poster and put it like I don't know, on your mirror where like you brush your teeth every morning. When you see the same message over and over again, it goes into your brain. You remember it and you actually start to believe it. So do that. I need to do that actually on my uni mirrors. At home on my mirror, I've got a picture of me from when I was probably four. Um, no, I was probably three or two. It was my first picture that was taken of me in preschool. Um, and it just reminds you to be kind to yourself because that that is who you are talking to and that is the things you are saying to that little girl or little boy or whoever um just start being really kind to yourself and actually believe that like there is so much more about you than your skin for me like if someone calls me intelligent or if someone calls me kind or if someone says like oh you did that really well that means so much more to me than someone coming up to me and like, oh, you look really pretty today. Do you know what I mean? Because I think when we when we see that there's value in like all parts of us, not only in the way we look, we start to like gain confidence from that. So definitely focus on other parts of yourself. Um, also, I find doing my hair makes me feel a lot more confident when my acne is you know flaring up which at the moment it definitely is because i've been eating i haven't been eating really bad i haven't um but the past two days i've had these beyond meat burgers <laughs> that are vegan and they don't contain gluten like they don't contain dairy but they've got so much rapeseed oil and so many processed things in them that like my skin just doesn't like and i got i literally at lunchtime you can probably see still can you see on my hand yeah can you see that there um well i get hives on my hands when i have bad it's not bad food but like food i'm sensitive to um and i just know that my skin like my skin's already like flaring up um but yeah my body is very connected with the foods that i eat so yeah um, but yeah, doing my hair makes me feel a lot more confident, especially because I'm someone that's hair is very curly naturally. And annoyingly, I feel a lot more confident when it's straight, which is sad and it's something I'm trying to work on. But for me, I don't think it's that straight hair gives me confidence. I think it's my curly hair diminishes my confidence, but that's another thing. But yeah, doing your hair or like making your eyebrows all brushed up or putting on a cute outfit, that will definitely give you more confidence. Um when you're like going out of the house if you're in the middle of an acne flare. Do you have any tips on not picking your skin? Spot patches, get rid of the magnifying mirrors, do your skincare in dimmed light. Often, I'm not sure if you're meant to do this, so don't do this, but this is what I do. I will put on a spot patch the night before and I won't take it off in the morning and I'll wait until the following evening um so this is new i put this on this morning this swatch patch i've got here but like straight after taking another one off but just like literally not having access to a place on your face makes me stop picking because i literally pick this in between taking 
one spot patch off than the other one so you can imagine what I would have done to my face if I would have had access to it the whole day. Someone said how do you stay on track mentally and physically when you get a flare up out of the blue? So if I'm like doing really well with like the food I'm eating, I'm doing really well managing my stress levels and I break out, it can be obviously quite, um, what's the word? Like demotivating and being like, why me? Blah, blah, blah. Get that mindset out of your brain. Like sometimes things just happen. Sometimes you might not have slept as well as you thought you did that night. You might have got loads of REM sleep and hardly any non-REM sleep. Like there are sometimes things you can't control or someone in your flat has started using a bleach that's got loads of endocrine disruptors in and it's thrown your skin off that week you know like sometimes there's stuff you can't control i kind of tried to see it as a challenge of like how fast can i clear my skin up like it doesn't matter how fast i clear up my skin but like mentally it helps me a lot if i'm like oh this is just a challenge like how fast can i clear up my skin compared to last time when i cleared up my skin you know um, so just try to reframe it in your brain as like, we can, we can only go up from here, what am I going to do to support my body rather than like, why isn't my body feeling supported, you know? There's so many questions about people saying, can I have fruit because of my skin? I do not want to hear that question ever again. If you've got acne and you're avoiding fruit, just stop. Like, I talk about it all the time and I post about it all the time. Just eat fruit. Like, fruit is so healing. Fruit is so good for you. It's got so many like minerals and vitamins and stuff like that in it. Don't not eat it, please. Some people have asked for easy, quick, like healthy meal inspo. I love just chopping up loads of vegetables and then putting in chopped tomatoes, putting in a lot of Italian seasoning, turmeric, stuff like that. Like that is such an easy and quick meal. Like it's so random, but like so easy and quick. Um, or salmon and veggies, literally like so easy and quick. Um, or like getting tuna, like literally making a tuna sweet corn wrap. Um, or getting like a healthy pasta, you don't need to get a healthy pasta if you don't want to. Um, and making like a spag bowl, I love to do that. But yeah, um, that's kind of all the questions I had. There was a lot of repeated ones. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. My socials are always linked below, but please make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps to support this little teeny tiny channel um, because I want to be able to do this more for you guys because I really enjoy YouTube and this little community. Um, but yeah, now I'm just going to finish my acai bowl and do a little bit more uni work. So I hope you are having a lovely week. This will probably be uploaded on Wednesday. So if it's Wednesday, hello to you. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for supporting me and being here. Um, and yeah, I will see you on Friday. And I love you. Bye.